thank you guys again. Uh, like I said, I know it's been a long, kind of a long day, a lot of information. Um, you guys are my peeps, and I, I appreciate like that everybody's here, and it makes me so excited to be able to talk about 3D. Um, so my talk today is about efficiencies. And so this is not like, you know, technology is awesome, and I love hearing about what Under Armour is doing and all the cool things. What I want to talk about today is more the, the kind of the after stuff. Using the, the, the assets we have, using the, the ability to be able to all this collaboration to create efficiencies that we didn't expect. And so that's what we're going to talk about. So here, let's see. Um, is it? OK. So a little bit about me. My name is Carolina Haddad, as you guys know. Um, I've been with Walmart for 11 years. And so prior to coming to Walmart, I was a designer in New York. Um, and so when Walmart closed their New York office, I was given the opportunity to move to Arkansas, which is, you know, a big change. Um, but not only, not only did I change from, you know, my location, I changed from being a designer to a technical designer. And I'm mentally not a technical designer, but it was a great chance. It was a great change and a great ch like chance to, to switch my role. But with that, it also kind of gave me the, the push to try something different and to start exploring something like 3D. Um, I think the one thing you guys heard a lot of today is the role of TD. I think it is so cool to see an area of the business where people tend to be really low key. Um, you know, they kind of start work in the back, they're quiet about it, but they're like the rock stars of this. So to all the TDs that are out there, like, thank you guys so much because we could not really be where we are. I don't think any of these companies could be where we are without TD in these places. So thank you all. Um, so yeah. Uh, Walmart, Walmart is, uh, as you guys all know, a very big company, but we're also very inexpensive. And so just to, to give you a little kind of background of why this is important, um, the quote, people led tech empowered, we're very, very focused on people, but we're also very lean when it comes to budget, lean when it comes to different ways of working. I mean, I'm sure you've all heard the quote, uh, save money, live better. And the basic kind of business premise behind how we do that is called EDLC, which is everyday low cost. That equals EDLP, which is everyday low price. So you can't have a low price unless you literally remove all of the excess waste. You run super, super lean when it comes to cost. And that way you can keep your price down to be able to sell the customer that product at the absolute lowest price consistently. So there's not sales, there's not you know, all the, the, the different things that other companies do. That price stays low constantly. The problem with that is that headcount is often impacted by that. So we, we often have really, really tight, tight teams. And so what do you do when you, when you have that? You have all this product. We all know how much, how big Walmart is. A lot of product, not a lot of people. And so we've been using 3D as a great tool to kind of find different ways to do stuff. And I feel like that's what's been so exciting when, as we've been doing this, is how our teams have been creative. And so that's kind of what we're touching on. Okay. Um, that's kind of what we're gonna be touching on today is just some of the quick, quick wins we've gotten working with 3D. Um, so I'm gonna share something with you before I play this. So this was a video we created with Browseware. Um, I, it was an amazing idea because it really was a way to kind of get our story across to leadership, to suppliers, to other people, and it actually built a lot of excitement. Um, even though we've been doing this for almost nine years, it, I can't even believe it's been almost nine years, and we could not have done this without Browser. I mean, they partnered with us right from the beginning. So many of the tools we've built and developed have come from you know, this relationship with Browser. Um, but we still hit those pockets of resistance, and even amongst our own team, our leadership, all of that. So, Having this video suddenly built all this excitement. So happy to share this with you guys. Some people have seen it. If you were at PI Apparel, you've seen it. So I apologize if you're just sick of it. I'm sick of seeing it, but uh, it's, still, it's still a good video. So let's try this now. Let's see if it works. A t-shirt, jeans, a dress. Not many products are more personal or emotional for our customer than apparel. They have high expectations for style, relevance, and performance. Traditional methods used to develop into these expectations are time-consuming, wasteful, and expensive. 
This presents challenges to Walmart's mission for everyday low cost and sustainably sourced product. A few years ago, we set out to solve this. We began exploring digital tools as a solution to reduce our oversampling and shorten our calendar. Our focus was to virtually replicate the physical characteristics of a garment. This is the digital twin. By working with the digital twin, we can go from concept to creation virtually. This empowers global teams to collaborate, making faster and better decisions while reducing sample waste. Very quickly, we saw benefit beyond product development. The same digital twin used to create product can be used across the enterprise in marketing, operations, and e-commerce, elevating user conversion. Using 3D technology, Walmart is creating exciting new ways to shop, allowing us to virtually dress real people of all shapes and sizes, building customer trust and promoting inclusivity. We are also preparing for a future of augmented and virtual reality. Leveraging 3D digital assets, it is possible to test trends, gather customer insight, and iterate design without ever stitching a garment. Walmart Apparel is leading the fashion industry in the use of 3D technology. We started in one category with one supplier. Today, we partner with over 90 suppliers across the apparel business to build garments in 3D. The past few years have been an incredible journey for us. 3D technology evolved quickly, helping us to save time, money, and especially the environment. By embracing these digital tools, we can connect our total enterprise, bring efficiencies never before thought of, enhance our customers' experience, and support our mission to be their first choice. Thank you for your time, and thank you to Browseware, Comar, and Metail for your partnership in creating this video. All of the Walmart garments shown were 3D. No physical samples were harmed in the making of this video. That, that was like a whole, I feel like I'm done, that's it. Like throw the mic down now, video's over. Um, so yeah, so that was, uh, that was like, thanks, thanks to Denise Scott, that was a great idea on her part as we were trying to figure out a way to kind of, oh, here, oops, um, kind of get more of the information out to get buy-in from leadership. Um, you know, she, suggest, she suggested this video and it really has done the trick. Um, it's going to live on like forever. <laughs> like you guys are going to be able to recite all of it, I think, soon enough. Um, so moving on. Are we able to move on? Okay. <laughs> Maybe not. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is with the efficiencies, you know, browse where we work, but browse where, uh, I guess it's like a year and a half ago, working on the collection tool. And so the ability to be able to really view the assortment was a game changer for us. So as much as all the technology is amazing, this is something so basic to just our jobs in apparel, um, to have that flexibility with an assortment tool really changed, it, like I said, it was a game changer. And so we started looking at the value beyond, beyond, beyond just that traditional you know, uh, assortment review. And there's so many teams that are, uh, you know, that are involved that maybe don't have that they're not in like all of these meetings in the same way, so they don't have the visibility, but they still have to work with that product. And so it's the, the tertiary teams that, that I think we've seen the most exciting kind of ideas from. And so onboarding, really basic. Everybody's got to onboard new people. When you onboard, for us, it would be like, okay, this, it would take hours just to, or like a day just to be able to kind of go through all that product with somebody. Now we just add them to a style zone groups and say, okay, here's the collection. This is the previous product. You've got all the notes, all the history. And somebody just literally sits down at the computer for a few hours. They have the history. Now they know and they move. And so as we have new people coming in, onboarding has been a huge, huge time savings with 3D. Print alignment. With the scale that we work in, often we'll have roadmap prints. And so we'll have prints that will be coming across all categories. Um, from multiple suppliers. And so it's a way for us to kind of review across everything and have the alignment, make sure that it, we're, we're staying true to those prints, um, they're executing the way we want, and everybody has visibility um, across all the different teams. Legal review. Okay, this was the weirdest one to me. Um, I, you know, legal review, you don't really think about it, but Walmart being the scale that we are, we often have to have, I think every season they have to have a review with the lawyers. So the lawyers have to come in, they have to look at all the product um, so that we don't get sued. And 
it used to be that, you know, we, our Walmart offices are set up like a giant Walmart store. So we have all the racks, all the walls. It's like you're actually walking through a Walmart. And so we'll be working on a season. But when it's time to do the legal review, all those garments have to come off the racks. We have to set it with the previous season so that the legal team can come in. It takes a day just to set up. They have to review everything, takes hours. And then if there's any changes that have to be made, that's another two weeks for those samples to be made. And then the legal team has to come back. So one of our, um, our product development people who was super excited, she's one of our like change makers when it comes to 3D, decided she was gonna do this with the collection tool. They went from like really was about a day and a half in just in set, setting and, and reviewing to 30 minutes. 30 minutes for the legal team to come in. They don't have to come in, they're doing it all by Zoom. Um, they review, if there's any questions, we have inspiration images that are also there. Um, if there's a question that something has to go back, the supplier does it, sends it back. And legal now has all of those documents that can be downloaded and pulled into their system. So if you think about being so lean and, and the fact that, you know, that's a work driver for really not a lot of payoff, and that's not a fun, a fun project, to be able to take that down to 30 minutes is a phenomenal time savings. If you think about that across multiple seasons, multiple categories, it's a win. Consumer Insights. So we work with First Insights. Um, they've been great partnering with us. It used to be that we used to have to, you know, send them CADs or whatever. They actually go into our, we, we give them access, they go into our systems, they pull all the images themselves. We're using them to test out even the customer's reaction to 3D. How do they feel about photography versus um, ghost avatar versus eco shot? And we've been getting feedback with them. So being able to have that streamlined flow to, to, uh, for consumer insights has also been, has been great. Marketing packaging review. Again, same thing, we used to have to set the floor go product by product to see if there was something specific that needed to be you know, called out. Now all of it's done on 3D, and actually we've been doing a lot of um, uh, packaging and hang tag work using 3D. So that's been, that's been big. This is another one of those weird ones. I would never have thought of this. So QA, or QA team, when we first rolled out the, the collection tool, they were the ones that were the most excited, and I didn't really understand why. And it was because before, if they wanted to be able to look at the product, how we would share product before, they'd have packets of PowerPoints, like CADs, and just it could be like an 80 page packet of CADs. And if something changed, more than likely you weren't gonna get an updated version. So now everything's updated. So this is how they're communicating back and forth with our global sourcing teams overseas. They're doing risk assessment utilizing this. And this part is the, the kind of cool part, is when they do see something, there's a potential issue, especially let's say it comes to shrinkage. They're actually working with our suppliers to say, okay, the concern is it's a 3% shrinkage. We think with this fabric, there might be an issue. The supplier applies the shrink to that. They look at the, um, the item with the tension map to say, okay, you know what? That's acceptable. Now, are we still testing something if we see a problem? Yes, we are. But there's a whole like chunk of product that maybe we would have tested, and that's two weeks minimum that we don't have to anymore. They've literally gotten to the point where they can trust what they're seeing um, and it's not across the board. Like, I'm not going to say like, oh, this is a game changer. It's everything. But it's very, very specific. But those two weeks, we, we all know how tight those calendars. Two weeks can make a huge difference. Um, so, and they get so excited. They literally are just trying to come up with ways to, to, to use this. And, and it's, been, it's been really cool. And I know you guys are nodding because I know you've, you've been like, you've, been, you've, you've done it with us. So and that I thought was great. Um, floor planning, you saw some of the stuff that was on there. Um, the teams can actually play it with around with all this to be able to show, to show like this is what it is now. This is what it was last year. This is how we're gonna flow without having to go and again, reset all of our floors. So as much as none of this is like the, the super technology future forward, I heard a quote from one of our SVPs uh, recently at a meeting and it really stuck with me. It was, she said, this is the non-sexy stuff that pays the sexy dividends. So I think about that. This is the non-sexy stuff, but man, that time back, those are the sexy dividends. So print scale changes. Um, Lauren, our designer, is here. So one of our teams is our sleep team. So Cynthia and Lauren, who are both here, have been using this in their working sessions, literally doing live you know, changes, um, you know, print scale, 
making changes just on the fly in you know, the, the working sessions that have huge cost implications. And what's great about that is while they're doing that, you know, used to be that we would fit after the buy was made. And if there's a change, you don't get that back. You don't get those cost savings back. Now we were able to do something where we took length off of the garment. Well, now you're going into that buy knowing that you're getting a cost, a cost change that's it's beneficial to the company. Development. So we have our, some of our design teams are based in New York, but our TD team is based in Bentonville. So the communication can sometimes be a little bit difficult when we're fitting, when we're, we're really trying to get that fit intent alignment. And so just even something as simple as this, being able to look at that and say, is this hitting where you want it to? That cross, is, is that deep? Is it too modest? Is there too much under the armhole? You know, so starting with it right from the beginning, we get it. And then the other images, pre-publishing product fit check. Something I hadn't even thought about that. Cynthia just uh, pointed that out to me. They, we look at, we develop this product in 3D. And then they came to her and said, can you review the product, the images from our e-commerce site before we post them? So that we can make sure that what we're, what we're going to be showing on our site is actually accurate to the fit. Because one of the biggest pushes we have, everyone has an idea of Walmart being, oh, we're cheap. But let me tell you guys, the quality checks on what we do and the, the passion for um, improved ratings and, and testing is enormous. It, the, the quality is much better than people actually realize. And so we want to make sure that what we're giving the customer is correct. And so you don't want to show something, it looks one way, and then we ship it and it looks another way. So I think it's great that they actually have you doing those, those checks to say, okay, is it hitting in the right spot? Are we, are we being deceptive with the customer? So that was a, another way we looked at stuff. Now, leggings. This, we use this also as a way to educate. Sometimes our, our product development teams come in, they might be coming from automotive, they might be coming from stationary. Um, not everybody has the understanding or the skill set when it comes to fabric. We are not a, a, an apparel store. We're a grocery store that carries apparel. You know, we sell bananas, we sell tires, but then we sell leggings. Um, and so being able to educate sometimes the teams maybe a little bit more to understand where some of the challenges could be is huge. So if you look at a legging, you know, we might have a 20 leggings on a table. And you've got a solid, you've got a heather, and you've got a print. All of that fabric is going to be different, but you, the customer doesn't understand that. So if they bought, go in and they buy a couple of those, they're going to want them to fit the same way. Ultimately, your spec has to be slightly different to adjust for that. And so we kind of, um, Jeanette, who's our, our TD, kind of put this together to be able to show this and really understand, is it red? <laughs> is, it, is it yellow or is it white? You know, you don't want leggings that you can't feel. So <laughs> um, it's just a good way to really kind of see, like, you know, I get the point across with this. Is it too tight? Is it too loose? So this is another one. This was a huge thing for us. Um, it used to be with our, our, our bathing suits, you could buy separates and we would have one image that just had a, a bottom on it. It doesn't communicate any of the information. Um, this was developed as a secondary hang tag to actually show these images, you know, attached to each one. I personally had no idea what a cheeky high leg high waist was. Now I do, and I feel like I can sleep at night. Um, <laughs> the customer knows, and ultimately, all of that, if somebody bought it and then they, got, they took it home, and like, oh, I don't like it. I don't want anybody's returns. Like, nobody wants any of those returns. So it's something that, it's a, it's a big deal, and it's, I think we're gonna be using more of this kind of packaging to really get information across to, um, to our customer. So simple, simple, simple things, but huge impact. Snap. So we actually worked with, Snap came to us and said, you know, we want to test something out. Um, so utilizing social media to see, you know, what the customer's reaction was to sell. And so even though we have our e-commerce site, we thought it was a, an interesting way to be able to kind of showcase our new brand, Joyspun. Um, we did this right before the holidays and took some of our 3D garments. They created this filter that the customer could then shop and if they liked it, they could, they could try it on themselves. And 
then purchase. And so from there, they can track the conversion, how much activity, you know, all that social media talk. I, I don't really know <laughs> what that all counts to, but it's numbers. And they really, the reaction was, was good. Uh, they actually want to be able to do more with this. But I just love the fact that it allowed us to really connect with a customer outside of the e-commerce site. You know, not every customer wants to go into like walmart.com. Um, but they may be playing around and see that and suddenly they're like, hey, I kind of like that. So I, I thought it was a great way to, to, to kind of interact and, and really engage that customer. Uh, and then that's it. Lastly, you know, I know this is a cliche. This image has been all over the place, but it's so real. Everybody's so busy. Everybody's so tired. And I hear it all the time. I'm like, oh, I'm just too busy. But you got to make the change. Like you, you have to do something to, to actually kind of break away and, and make that change. Um, everything that has been talked about here today, everybody who spoke today, it's all, it's all the same. And, and I want to thank Lena for what you just said about our suppliers. So many of our suppliers here today, um, and thank you guys so much. We could not do this without our suppliers. Honestly, they are the ones who are creating the 3D. They're the ones who are doing the work um, and they are, they have been rock stars throughout all of this. So thank you guys so, so much. Mm -hmm.